a pan 360 of the entry area to what's supposed to be the first of two quaint little villages. This looks like it's been converted into a high tourist uh, enterprise and I think it has. So I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm going to find. I think that's where I'm coming in right there. Sightseeing stand, whatever that means. Okay, there's the river. Oh, there's the river there. Okay, the river's going all the way through the middle like that. Okay. And I can go up along there. Notice that there's a big loop on that road. And then more parking and something up in that corner. So that should be to my left. And then if I go back here, wooden bridge. Okay, there's a big loop there. Okay. Inside. The arrow points me to entrance to walk road. Okay, so that sounds like a me. There's a very ever so slight a drizzle. My first little critter of this hike who jumped across in front of me. Sequential sightseeing. We come to but probably a reproductions of uh, a water wheel and it presumably for grinding um, how old this design is I don't know these uh, look like stone I think they are stone yep so you can see how it works it's like the big ones um, Now you also notice that this is a assembly line, in other words, a multiple factory design. Now there's only two items here, but this is what's profound about this design, given the time it was probably created, is that this will op this water wheel will operate two of these um, uh, mortar and, and pestles, if you will. Now I think there were probably stones that went on the end here, although I'm not sure. Um, and you put your grain in there and it just continuously pounded it out. And I read somewhere this idea uh, created by, I think, Iran or Iraq, its early history. So next to the water wheel is this uh, pretty pond that you think it's the river that runs through here. And it looks like an old, old dam from the mosque, but who knows. But you can imagine how such a site would be attractive to a community. And this little community called Sishi, S-I-X-I, um, we'll also see a bridge here, the 15th century. Here you can see some of the fields that are worked and irrigated with just simple trench irrigation. Um, they are separated by uh, rather large berms. And this looks like burned off rice stocks. Noticing the stonework on this, what looked like it would have led to a temple site. It's a gate or an entryway of some sort. Whether there was a building construct around it, I don't know, but it seems so. This is a flat area right here, but there's nothing here anymore. So. As of yesterday, a 12th, I was two days behind. In other words, I've used up more two days more than I estimated I'd use by now. Even these berms are used to plant some kind of product, I assume. And these look like they must be the cuttings of those stalks, whatever that was. It doesn't look like rice, but I don't know rice, really. And then these are vines in front of us that are growing on, look like they're growing right on top of the uh, stalks of whatever that is. Notice how that appears to be tied off at the top somehow. Like maybe they were layered, almost like little houses. This is my first reasonably close view of the town. <clears throat> um, it's a very somber, soggy day. Here's some nicely carved Chinese symbols. Whether they were meant for this spot or came from some other place and there's simply a rock being reused, I don't know.
You can see here on this old abandoned building the same arch doorway archwork that we saw a few moments ago. This is an interesting old building, probably a barn, since it's next to the fields. But it also contains a great number of those uh, machines for processing something. Let's take a closer look at them. What's interesting, instead of having hooks, like you might expect on a cotton gin, these uh, have just those loops. So what product they used, I don't know, but notice that they have handles <coughs> at either end. So two or four people can lift this up to take it into the field where they need it. Here's another device I've seen before, but I don't know how it works. And where you dump whatever it is you're processing in the top, and I'm guessing that what you want shoots out the bottom on the left side, but let's see, there must be another shoot for what you don't want. <clears throat> now maybe it just falls right straight through here, I'm guessing. View of the close-in fields. And that little housing there, that slanted lean-to, may well be for a well. Like all old places in the world, usually they're in a state of churn. Either in China's big cities and moderate cities, a fast churn, or here a slow churn, where buildings become unused for some reason, fall into disrepair, are cannibalized for new ones, and the train rolls on. And here's the challenge when the walls start giving way. Not too long in the future, this will tumble in, fill in this alley. Interesting that the beds are raised for these peppers. Some discarded but very large, what look like maybe cucumber squashes or some combination. Those seeds in there look like they're, you know, like pumpkin seeds from the size of them. Here are some slate stones or whatever that in their natural history were cracked and then had some kind of new stone, it looks like a quartz or something like that, uh, intrude into it. And now from being used on the path, the gray stone is worn away, leaving the ridges of the higher stone. I just wanted to take a little closer look at these roof lines. It's a way of adding a Chinese flare to these uh, brick and then uh, plastered uh, homes which are all over this part of China and they're very nice looking some of them somewhat almost modern with faux columns on them that are painted beautiful colors. Look back down some of these alleyways opposite what look like almost abandoned buildings maybe are a very pretty building here home perhaps of a very important person but nicely done. Perhaps these were residences that replaced by these nicer homes that have been built recently. Down in there, I think, is where the sewer system is. Notice how neatly these yards are kept versus uh, most of the yards I see, maybe because this is a tourist spot um, and they take pride in it. So they have a water system. It's interesting. One of the benefits of being an old city when this government wants tourism to be a very important factor It'll probably upgrade the infrastructure. Interesting to note a modern toilet. Or at least western, I should say. Built during the reign of the Qing Emperor Kangxi, Qing Emperor, and owned by a lumber merchant, decorated with precise, beautiful wood carving of full and lively characters, animals and plants in the main hall, which add to the beauty of the house. Maybe the guides have keys because I can't get in, it's locked. In this backyard there seem to appear to be uh, about f three or five big tubs, cement tubs with um, whatever you call it, not trestles but something like that over the top for growing stuff. Whether something's grown inside like fish or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> 